Next question that's come in is quite simply, what's happening with the engine and gearbox? Well, not a huge amount today, but the engine itself has come out of the, the vehicle and has done, well, exactly 200,000 miles, give or take 10. Um, the gearbox, the same, and the transfer box is off a discovery. So what we will be doing is returning the transfer box back to an original Defender box, and this engine for about half of its life has been running a huge amount of power, about 150, 160 horsepower. So it's fairly well said, it's probably like an engine that's done 300,000 miles. Um, and it's not always had the easiest ride either. So, but it is in working order and there was nothing wrong with it when it came out. So what we're going to do is, since we're doing the rest of the vehicle, is go the whole hog on this engine. So we've got new big ends, uh, piston rings and overhaul kits for the engine. So at a later date, I and mean probably in the next series, we will dis disassemble and refurbish the entire engine. Currently it's got timing gears and various other modifications done. The whole engine will go back to being original uh, and should serve as a bit of a guide for how to look after service and overhaul a TDI 200. The gearbox itself upon inspection is absolutely fine. Um, there won't be a huge amount done to that. We will replace all the seals and things, but uh, aside from that, it's not too bad. The Discovery Transfer Box has got quite a bit of backlash in there and we could overhaul that but because it's from a Discovery in the first instance we're going to replace that with a Defender one but as we crack that open we will show where some of the issues and challenges are from and how that backlash occurred. But by the end of this weekend it should be somewhere back on the chassis.